Yeah, this piece is, um, I wanted to show you, uh, titled Scout's Honor. Why? Just to, to keep track of it, but also uh, Scout's Honor. Uh, the pieces are thrown and, and dissected uh, with different colors of clay added in traditional, uh, you know, coil-built uh, forms. Uh, some gold luster makes it a little fancier and more mysterious. Um, and, uh, oh yeah, um, it's something I've been, these are pieces that are a couple years old, but I've been thinking about how to make this collection of, of, of uh, fragments and gestures and sort of souvenirs almost. Um, um, how to hold them together and then break them apart a little bit so that so that actually to, to have a color that that, that unifies the, 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 uh, different different objects that's interesting to me I mean I have a tendency to feel oh that's one color that's another color but um, now I'm interested in having I think kind of the, the pleasures of exploring the piece so you actually want to walk like like we're doing we're actually walking around it or turning it Yeah, and this is a sort of, sort of, sort of glittery glaze that, uh, that, that brings different parts of the piece together. I actually put these two uh, pieces on the table just to, to, to talk a little bit about uh, two moments. I made, these, I made these, these pieces a few years ago uh, and, a, and a series of sculptures that were what I called one was titled Ikibana. Uh, not that I had much interest in flower arrangement, the Japanese flower arrangement, but uh, since he did the, the, this idea to have um, a sculpture that could I could continue making, uh, and that would actually have a relationship to to, to drawings, uh, to have a kind of a, a lightness and a movement, and also to have it uh, in process. Uh, there's a moment when uh, I think it's finished, uh, but it's all. Uh, it's, it starts with a with a, a gesture, you know, a, a trace of uh, of color. All this is like like cobalt. So the drawings are still very ceramic, um, and they start with that. Uh, and it's a collection of, of of images that I've used for a while. Things that come from sketchbooks, come from photographs, uh, and then it's improvisational, um, a little bit like the ceramics and um, uh, but the ceramics are, are very still very clay uh, with the tools from a uh, from a ceramic studio I throw things on a potter's wheel uh, I have molds uh, plaster molds that I use I have an extruder and so all those things are, are sort of an accumulation of uh, 50 years of work as a potter, sculptor, ceramist. Um, and so a piece like this, um, it's called, the title is Tuna Melt. Uh, I'd probably, it's just because of, it's, it's, uh, it's melting, but uh, uh, just a, a way of, of keeping track of these pieces. I may, uh, the titles are, are important only in the sense that Sometimes they're funny. They're, they're words that I that I write down and, and reuse just for archival purposes. But uh, a piece like this, I can actually make. From, this is like thrown from a potter's wheel and 
and deform these classic glaze colors from of cobalt and um, you know metallic glazes that I I buy and are all sort of commercial. Uh, these weird glazes from of lithium and chrome. And all these uh, these glitzy glazes from uh, from my supplier. Uh, so there's a piece and then I've can re I can remake it. Uh, I've actually shown this piece a, a couple times. I've shown it in a museum and it had another piece. I had sort of cannibalized one of the pieces for another piece and so I remade some other things. So this I mean, it's interesting to, to, to keep it going. Uh, at, a moment, at a certain moment, it's done. But I did this either four or five years ago, and then after that, I, the, the, the problem of, uh, of transporting them and showing them in public, I said, oh, just, man, let's have, just to have that kind of movement, to have that kind of way the piece sits on the table or on pedestals, that's probably another, Maybe I'll show you a couple other ways that I that I, sh that I show pieces. It's all it's it's uh, it's always a question because these are sculpture objects, but they're related to pots, you know. So there's there's, there's sort of an intimate um, experience of looking at them. You know, they're they're uh, you're gonna see them close, and it's like you know, if you like chamber music, you're gonna like chamber sculptures. And so this is sort of this. This is my sense of it. I mean, it has all the the, the, the ideas of, of 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 sculpture, which is that if you can turn it, you can turn it around. You can walk around it. Uh, it takes up volume. It has a relationship to our bodies, to uh, our experience of uh, architecture. There's a, there's a something architectural about that too. Um, and then the just the pleasures of making stuff out of clay. I mean, all that, all the. The possibilities of the of the clay itself being extruded or being uh, constructed, cut up, made on on molds, uh, and then the the trial by fire, and so all that stuff. There are lots of surprises. I try to have some control over it, um, but uh, yeah, there's a moment where I'm just surprised, and that's that's the same way with the drawings. Uh, a moment when it's sort of out of my control, you know, and so it's a gift and a surprise. Yeah. Uh, well, this is still you know, just <clears throat> part of the studio, but uh, part of my laboratory, if you will. Uh, and I still, I still need these tests, you know, I'm just finding these uh, these glazes that that uh, that foam up and. Uh, some that I some that I buy, so they're just they're just there as part of the part of the archives, um, you know. Um, but it's important to have, so I can actually uh, go back to them and try to you know uh, try to use them in different ways. Twenty years ago, uh, but but this idea that uh, to have a, a, a um, an inside and outside of a pot. I mean, I actually started to make these structures that were open, uh, and then I started to put a sort of skin on them, uh, and it was they're a little uh, disquieting, you know. But still, uh, they're kind of like a, a weird a weird beauty to them. So there's something inside. Uh, so you get both the outside, which is sort of like this, this skin. Um, uh, but with, with pressure. I mean, the irony, of course, is that a, a beautiful pot has this sense of breath from the inside. And, it, and it's like there's something inside pushing out 
uh, a beautiful full pot. I mean, when I've uh, this is this is not the same. Come on, it's not the same uh, inner beauty, uh, but it's, it's it's part of part of the same idea. There's an, there's a structure on the inside, and there's something pushing out. Uh, these are pieces that, that I did before for a show, before the, the lockdown, before the confinement here in France. Uh, and so they're all uh, waiting to be glazed, you know. And so some different, some different ideas than, uh, uh, than what, I, what I showed before. But so they're, they're, they aren't, they're all pieces that are still... Well, I actually put that on there just to see what it would look like. Um, yeah, this, this piece was called Hercules. I was thinking of like the 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 labors of Hercules, like everything but the kitchen sink, you know. Uh, so, well, it's, 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 there's just a collection of all co all kinds of things. Uh, I make plates, and I've made uh, uh, painted plates that I made in Germany in a factory, in a porcelain factory, and a series of, uh, of big plates that I made for a, um, a special dinner for a, uh, a show I was in. And, um, yeah. C'est bon? Okay, it's different than what it was before. <laughs> 